Why does it look like I'm wearing a wig? <laughs> I feel like, oh my god, I'm like, uh, Jean I look like fucking Jean Collar Esposito and Maxine. Why is my hair like this? Why is <laughs> yeah, like that? They had like waves going. That was weird. Anyway, so um, the other night I watched the Shyamalan kid movie, The Watchers. <clears throat> and it's a movie. <laughs> Uh, before we get into that, initially I was going to review The Strangers Chapter 1. While I was watching the movie, I wrote a little bit of notes and I was like, oh god, you know it's bad when I'm writing notes. Literally wrote like four things and I was like, hey, I'll record that tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Next day, come. didn't have the energy. That's how, that's how bad that movie is, is that I literally had no energy to give a fuck to talk about it. And that's all I'm going to mention about it. Anyway, so The Watchers, it's a movie... Based on a book I've never heard of before, and it stars Dakota Fanning, the woman who was in The Barbarian, some old woman, and some younger dude. So that's the the Watchers movie, and I don't know. I guess I'll go into spoilers a little later. Let me, you know, even though I wasn't like the biggest fan of this movie, um, I guess I would say positives about it. Um, it's shot very well. Um, I don't know, I didn't look to see who the cinematographer was for this, so I don't know if it's more of Shyamalan's kid, you know, understanding how to film things, because, like, besides Shyamalan being kind of like a meme now, like, when he did do good movies, you know, like Sixth Sense and all that stuff, like, yeah, like, that shot really well. So, anyway, you know, maybe it's pointers from dads, maybe they got someone to shoot really well, kind of like when Angelina Jolie did that one movie with her and Brad Pitt, and it was shot beautifully with beautiful locations, but Jesus Christ, that movie won, anyway, early grade for me. So, so yeah, so the story's about this American, Dakota Fanning, who's, they're in Ireland, and she's just kind of, like, working in the pet store or something, and then her boss is like, hey, uh, you're gonna need to, uh, drive this special, like, yellow bird thing to someone. She drives, car breaks down, she's stuck somewhere in this random forest, you know, and then she has to get that get sheltered into like this, you know, um, I don't want to say storage container, but that's what it looks like. It's like a big fuck off window. Um, and it's just like the experience of what's out there, what is that, da 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 kind of stuff. And again, you know it's a Shyamalan movie, so there is a twist. Although, like, you could kind of guess it if you've watched like other Shyamalan movies and you've watched enough you know that like you could kind of catch it and then my my best example is like the devil or devil or whatever it's called because with that movie I guessed it I was like oh that's you know the the devil and everyone's like nah dude blah blah, blah. and it was a group of us watching it they're like nah 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 you wrong and I was right but anyway so I, I guess I'll go into spoilers because I guess, uh, yeah, so it's like these things called the Watchers, and they, they, they watch you. <laughs> There's these things called the Watchers, and they watch you, and then you're being watched the entire time, watching this movie called the Watchers. There. I said that word enough. Um, yeah, so, don't go in the woods, because they'll kill you, yada yada. Um, the, 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 the monster creature design is pretty interesting. It's cool that you at least get to see it, and it's not like... I mean, with Signs, it was really... It, it, signs was good because it's like... It just, like, walked right past, and you're like, ah! You know? Um, this one, like, you know, spooky... Um, spooky forest kind of way. But anyway, I guess spoilers. One, two, three, spoilers. So, w what I didn't like about this movie is just, like... With movies like this, one, they like to... Like they like they like to think that audience is stupid, and there are times yes, <laughs> but there are times no, and this, this entire time I'm watching this movie, and I I just just picked up immediately and I went this old lady seems to know a lot about these creatures, and it doesn't seem like anyone's questioning how she knows so much about these creatures, and how, you know what I mean? So it's like the it was like the young dude. And I think there might have been his brother, but I know, like, the woman, the barbarian's woman, she had her husband. And then he went out to figure something out, and he got eaten up and all that stuff. And the thing with these watchers is that they're really good mimics and, and all that stuff. 
and then sometimes like they don't have it perfectly right so kind of like you know like a kind of like an ai generated image where something like it looks fine for a second but you look at it a little bit longer and you're like wait that's kind of off um and so yeah i i i knew there was something wrong with that old lady because i was just like she knows so much information and yet no one in the fucking movie is asking how you know especially towards the end when they finally leave the forest and they're on like the rowboat and they're like can they swim and she's like the, they can't leave the force no matter what. And it's like, well, you, so you want to drop that? Why didn't you drop that information earlier? You know, like, I, I don't know. It's just like, I also need to cut my hair. I'll put it on this side. Let's see how weird this goes. I look like that girl from uh, Bob's Burgers. You know, the side ponytail. Anyway. Um, so yeah, it's, it's like, it's like eight months so here here's another thing so like she's supposed to deliver this ad, like bird right was there at any point was like her boss gonna call her okay fine it's the middle of the woods signal issue right what about the person who was expecting the bird wouldn't they be like where's my fucking bird like y'all ain't gonna i am shedding like a cat they're like y'all ain't gonna want to deliver my fucking bird to me and they're like oh we haven't gotten in contact anyway it's like there's no search parties eight months went by ain't no search parties gonna be looking for you like damn you know i understand like i guess because you're just like that one american in ireland so they're like oh well like i don't think that's how that works that's another thing like when movies like this when you have me like I always say there's suspension of disbelief and then there's me being like hey you know because you're gone for that long ain't no search parties ain't nobody you know what i mean it's not like you you have like lived by yourself in the woods or something and then like you fell down like a ravine and no one knew about it kind of thing it's like no 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 you work you're working at a pet store and i said send this to someone you have to drive through this forest fine somehow your car is shit okay and it breaks down oh fuck and then you get stuck in the forest and then this old lady and younger dude and woman are like get in before it's too late also the way how like time works in the movie one it's like daylight lasts apparently two hours just the way how like the pacing of the movie is because they're always like, oh, we went out. We looked into this hole. That's where the, the watchers are. We went into this hole. We looked around. They're nowhere near here. Well, there's still light here. So, of course, they wouldn't be touching the light kind of thing. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. What is this stuff? Let me take it away from their lair. You know, just like I said last time with the whole, like, I found this doll. And I'm going to bring it home. Like, why are you just, just leave it? You know, I understand the whole point of like, all right, maybe grab the, the video camera thing. So they knew that they had something to look at. Like they had like a surveillance thing outside. Fine. But like grabbing all the other items was like really dumb. Like, what do you could fucking do with that shit? But, um, and again, it's like, I just find it weird. Like, again, time was weird. Cause I'm like, why is it that it will that like i said daylight is apparently two hours or however little it is and then immediately it's like it's like they walk like 500 feet from the 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 thing and then they're like and then all of a sudden like it starts looking overcast like the sun is setting and i'm like again it's time works really weird the pacing of the movie works very odd with that because it's constantly like if they walk two feet from the place and suddenly they're like oh they gotta turn around even though they have all these like things little scarecrow looking things that they're saying like this is x amount of feet from what I it's like okay but again i feel like if you're because like i said towards the end of the movie they were eight months into all this like i feel like that you would make more progress especially if you have four people doing so i don't know again thinking too hard into it i have not read the source material so i don't know if the source material like expands on you know, whatever. Like, maybe time works differently in the force. Maybe I missed that. You know, I don't know. When a movie isn't good, sometimes my brain just kind of shuts off certain parts, you know, and then I just focus on other things. Anyway, so, um, anyway, so, so there's that. Again, eight months, and I think it's probably longer for some of the other people, but still eight months. It also took them eight months to, like, pull the carpet to see that there's a hatch underneath. Like, 
Dakota Fanning was fucking drawing on the fucking floor. This sh and, like, you know what I mean? Oh no, it took you like tripping over the carpet and have it curled up. For you to be like, oh wait, there's a hatch here. Look what's down there. I don't know what's down there, but we're gonna go down there because they're breaking in. Latch. Oh wow, look, there's like a computer bed and supplies. You're like, you didn't think to look? Like, you didn't think to fucking... Exactly. Like, I, I don't know, man. There's so much like... There's so much where they think the audience is that stupid. And also, like, when characters in a movie are that stupid, it's very much like, there. you know, there was, like, a time where, like, the, the, the whole thing with in horror would be like, oh, I ran up the stairs when the killer was trying to get me instead of running out of the house. Or, you know, the whole, like, I think, what was it? AMC or Fandango or something had a commercial. I remember I would see it when I would, used to go to the theater a lot more often. And it would be like, Oh my god, guys, there's a car full of gas, and it's it's running, we gotta go. And they're like, why not? Why can't we just hide in the shed? And it's all like the dangling, like, like fucking saws and, and shit. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like this movie is doing that part where you're like, you know, I don't know. But like I said, the creatures looked interesting because they're very like, Bleh, you know, whatever. That's fine. Um, like, uh, yeah, so then finally, like, so we're watching this video, and there's like 300-something videos, but they only watch a few, and they're like, and it's this guy doing research on the, the, the creatures, and the creatures are a type of fairies, and I'm like, sure, man, like, whatever. Um, and, and, he, and he's like, and he, he ended up capturing one, and and it was like, you know, living in the, 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 the facility, but then the guy, by like day 300, he's like, I can't do this anymore, and you hear him go upstairs, you hear bang, bang, which is, you, you assume, is him shooting the, the, the one fairy that he captured, and then himself kind of thing, you know, it's, it's assumed and all that stuff, and this is where I went, hmm, you know, sure, you know, like, I, I remember, what was it, last year with, um, with Scream, I said, if you don't see the body, you can't guarantee that character's dead. You know, if you don't see the mangled corpse, I do not trust that that person is dead. You know, and even if you do see a supposed dead body, I do not believe it's dead until the credits roll. I do not believe it. I need a medical professional to tell me it's dead. And even then, I still probably won't believe it. You know, so... You know, they finally, I don't know. I just find it weird how, like, they go through all this footage. They're like, yeah, we'll go to the college and destroy his his findings because he told us to do so. So suddenly they had enough courage and sunlight to run away. And, oh, yeah, well, the reason why they're able to do that, because they, they followed the dude's, like, uh, instructions. It's like, oh, if you go this way, then you hit the water, finally. But again, they also have enough sunlight because, again... They were out there for a bit of time. So they, they, you know, they run out there, they get to the rowboat. The, the, the young boy gets captured because like, he thinks it's either his brother or was it the woman's husband? I forgot. It was, they just thought it was some other person that they knew. So he got, he gets bit and he gets captured. He's like, rawr, rawr, all that stuff. And they're like, no, I knew he wasn't going to survive. He's a young dude, you know? And then the old lady, the, the barbarians woman, Dakota Fanny are on the rowboat. And that's where it was, like I said, the line where they said, can they swim? And they're all just like standing there kind of looking humanoid because the sun is setting just right by the water. And the old woman goes like, no, 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 they, they can't, they can't swim and they can't leave the forest. And it's like, okay, sure. When are you going to drop that information on us? So they end up like, you know, somewhere because they fall asleep and they wake up. It's the next morning. And like, you know, you start seeing like a bus and all that stuff. So they stop on a bridge and a like some kind of tour busy thing stops. And they're like, the fuck? Where have you guys gone? They're like, hey, can you take us to the city? And the guy's like, all right, I got you. And then I love how like, Dakota Fanny still has the bird with her, right? And so they go back to the city you're guessing most likely they split off because Dakota Fanning goes to the school and she's like, hey, I want to check out his stuff. And of course, because the plot said so, it was like, oh, normally we'll just like, you know, clear out someone's office or 
or they're whatever because, you know, because they need the space, but they're like, oh, but a bunch of students just so happens to, you know, gather enough funds to keep it the way it is, which I find that's like, oh, okay, fine. Fine. Again, because the plot says so, and it's just so stupid. So, of course, it's like, it looks untouched, and she's going through a bunch of things, and of course, there's one part where, like, you know, and then I, I'm just watching and I'm be like, come on, you're going to discover the, I'm like, we're discovering the twist. It's the twist, right? We're discovering the twist. This is what it's going to happen. You see Dakota Fanning with like photos and she's like flipping through and she's like, <gasps> you know, all that stuff. And you're like, okay, she figured it out. What's the twist? Let's get to it. I looked at the progress bar of my rental and it's like, we got this much left. Come on. What is that twist? So she goes, she goes to the barbarian's chick's house, which here's another thing. Maybe again, this is me thinking too much. So the barbarian's woman, she has a home, right? So I'm like, fine, right? So that's your home with like your husband who is now dead because he went into the forest, fine. But like afterwards, Dakota Fanning, actually no, before that, before the, the whole going to the university thing, you know, Dakota Fanning gets home to probably her apartment. It's been eight months. Were you on like a auto pay? For that how do you still have your apartment after that also like at no point was someone like oh my god the freaking tenant is finally back you know the person that went missing who worked at the the pet store nothing none of that no one questioning why she was gone for a while no just me all right just me um so she goes to the barbarians lady's house and then the barbarians lady they were talking and all of a sudden she's like there's a car pulling the trial she's like who the hell is that and then I was, wait, the barbarians lady is in the car there. How is she inside the house? That is the twist. That is the twist. So the photos shows the guy who did the research and all that stuff. Um, like his wife is the woman, the old woman, Madeline. And it's like, okay. But then you're like, wait a second. Then you, then she learned that like the old lady had died in like 1991, not 1991, 2001. In the early 2000s or something. I don't know why I'm saying 1991. Anyway, the old lady had died. So they're like, well, who is she? It's like, well, remember how he, like, ca like captured a freaking, you know, watcher dude? Well, that was a special fairy, a hybrid. And that it could be a daywalker, you know? Blah, blah, blah. Because the plot said so. Oh my god. And it was like, ah, oh, then it's like, it was like, ah, oh, you know, try to form into Dakota Fanning. I was like, blah, blah, blah. And then the barbarian lady walks in and she was like, what the hell? How did you get in here? It's like, ah, fight, fight, blah, 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 blah. you know? She runs away. The, the, the fairy runs away. Dakota Fanning's like, oh my god, barbarian's lady, are you okay? Oh shit, you know? And then it was just like, it pretty much the movie ends with like the fairy woman who like lives as a child because I guess would be less, it would be more inconspicuous, I don't know, it would be less noticeable, you know, when you see a red-headed child in Ireland with, like, you know, cataracts eyes, that's, that's not weird, um, that doesn't make you go, you know, but anyway, so, yeah, so, they're just like, everything's fine, and because of that, Dakota Fanning, also, not really subplot, but thing, Dakota Fanning's like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna reconcile with my twin, so it's just her sitting across from herself. And also I love how like all of this happened because Dakota Fanning as a child was a little shit and would like repeat after what someone says, and, you know, in, like the mocking way if they're like, stop that, oh, stop that, you know, like do that shit. And then the mom got in a car accident and that's how they lost her mom. And that's how the twin sister like has a scarred up face. And I'm just like, okay, so you deserved all of this. <laughs> all this that's happening in this movie right now, you deserved all this. Not sure about the other people in the movie, that in the situation, but you definitely deserve this shit to happen to you anyway. So that, that's, what happened again i don't know the source material i don't know like maybe i'm missing some shit that obviously they didn't put in the movie but this isn't great you know like you know it's a Shyamalan thing whether daughter or dad you know there's gonna be a twist kind of thing but again i already saw that coming besides it being a Shyamalan thing i was like wait something ain't right why aren't people asking questions but ugh, that was the watchers and that was just yeah he said visually it's nice, but the story, not not the best, not the best. And I feel like the the, the even the old lady, the 
the Watcher old lady. Her like her acting was so good. I feel like it's so wasted. I mean, Dakota Fanning is always a great actress, but she was such a cardboard cutout this time. And again, Barbarian's chick was really great because I really liked her in Barbarians. But again, everyone like was so like one dimensional, may, maybe slightly two dimensional. You know what I mean? But they weren't like people. They're were just like I just say these, you know. But anyway, yeah.